Hey guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. My name is George and you're with another cocktail video today. And today I'm making something which is uh, my recipe and I love to share with you. It's one of many which I created over the years, but this is pretty much fresh one because I just uh, did this one uh, two weeks ago when I was sent a coconut tequila. Yes, look at that. Fantastic coconut tequila. But if you're ready, I'll tell you a little bit more. So. Let's crack on! Right, coconut tequila. Yes, I don't know if you watch some of uh, one of my videos if, uh, with the tequila, with the honey and all this kind of yummy stuff. If not, I'll have a card for you. A link, again. But yeah, it's a cascabel. They do a honey tequila. They have their silver tequila. They do a brand new coconut tequila. And of course they have a coffee infused tequila, which is the only one I don't have. And we need to fix that. Anyway, so let's put them away. Coconut tequila, lovely. So, uh, when they send me the bottle and I try the tequila, because you always need to try before you creating any cocktails. Boy, that is just fantastic. I can just imagine a coconut margarita, for example. Beautiful. It's a lovely, it's a lovely flavor and it's really good because there's many people who actually are not fans of tequila but for example my wife she don't like tequila she she never drink tequila on his own but the honey tequila she love it just uh, you know what I mean with a few cubes of ice she just love it and that's a good way to introduce uh, a tequila of some kind of a variation to many people and the coconut it's fantastic so I was thinking what should I make and I did a coconut pie. No baking, no cooking, but I call it coconut pie because it's, it's remind me like one of those, I don't know if you ever try, it's like a small, uh, they're like a sweet spice or like a coconut balls with a coconut outside when you're eating it, it's fantastic. Obviously we're not introducing any chocolate here, but we're gonna introduce the coconut. So first, let me cool my shaker. Get a few more here, right? Always cool your shaker first, yeah? Leave it on the side, you have a nice cool shaker. So when you put your drinks, they've already gonna go straight away chill. They won't get warmer and it'll help you to stop the cocktail to dilute more, okay? So, we're starting with the tequila, obviously. Oh, beautiful. Right, we're gonna have 30 ml of the coconut tequila. There you go. Then, to keep the tropical vibe and feeling and everything, I'm using one of my favorite liqueur, which is the Napoleon Mandarin. It's already called Mandarin Napoleon? Mandarin Nap Napoleon Mandarin? Doesn't matter. It's a wonderful liqueur based on brandy infused with mandarins. It's just, oh man, you can sip this as it is, but we're gonna put in the cocktail now. So only 15 ml of this liqueur. So we don't want, when I was creating the cocktail, I didn't want the flavor of the coconut to disappear totally with all other ingredients. I want it to be present there, but have some kind of a complementary of uh, citrusy and tropical vibe around it. So I use the Mandarin Napoleon to give a little kick to the cocktail and then I use Giffard Pink Grapefruit Liqueur. This is fantastic because it's gonna bring just a touch of bitterness to the cocktail but very settled down, very nice refreshing and of course the flavor of Pink Grapefruit. So 15 ml again, that's all it is. Now, because we're basing everything on coconut, coconut is pairing really well with pineapple. And to give it a little more, a good bound, bond between the pineapple juice, which I'm gonna use and the coconut, I'm using Mrs. Better's Bitters, that is so hard to say always. It's a pineapple and star anise bitter. So I'm gonna use just five drops. Two, three, four, five. It's very strong on flavor, but it's very nice tropical 
smells lovely of pineapples and it's just a touch of anise you know the anise this freshness coming from the anise then we have orange bitter angostura orange bitter or any orange bitter you have just gonna give it two dashes again introducing a little bit more bitter to pair with the mandarin and the pink grapefruit but we're not killing the coconut flavor it's still there present now as juices I did create the cocktail with uh, more orientated to uh, orange flavor but if you're more fan of the pineapple you can just swap the ingredients the measurements and you get it more pineapple orientated cocktail okay I do prefer it to be more on the orange side so we get 60 ml of orange All right, that's 50 and just another little 10 and 30 ml of pineapple juice and this is it pretty much now as every good bartender you need to be prepared and ready for everything but of course sometimes you do some silly mistakes like I did at the moment and this is I didn't bring my glass I can grab any glass from here for example I can grab that and serve it in that but I have a special glass for this cocktail because I really like the way how it's looking the glass the glass is very important when you serve cocktails it's a massive compliment to the cocktail and the, the good cocktail serving the wrong glass could break everything so I'll just pop in there just here off camera but I'm picking up my glass there you go so because it's coconut pie and we have the pineapple I love this glass because you have kind of a a little bit of the shape of the coconut then the pineapple you know I mean the stripes and everything it's just kind of a working for the cocktail and the name and just all the ingredients inside right uh, where's my strainer let's use this one I've cooled down the shaker but now we're gonna have some water introduced inside probably or maybe not oh that's good always check this because if you have some water you don't want to put extra water to your cocktail so let's shake it now there you go lovely that'll be more than enough oh i do love this cocktail so much You can strain it, put brand new ice and strain it. Me, no thank you. I like a free pour straight away in the glass. Look at that. Beautiful. A little bit for me, no, I'm joking. So there you go. Now, garnish. Because you have pineapple, you have the orange, you have the coconut, you have a wide variety of using the garnish. Uh, because I based it on orange juice more, I'm gonna garnish with orange. But, of course, nothing wrong if you wanna put a slice of pineapple and like a pineapple throw. Absolutely no problemo at all. A big slice of orange and to give a little bit more freshness when you're drinking, a fresh mint. Just pop through the orange in the middle just put it like that and then you have it guys with a good service small napkin cocktail napkin and there you go a coconut pie my own creation I hope you like it and I hope you're gonna try it so guys that was another video from me you just watch just shake or steer like and subscribe as always check the more cascabel cocktails with a honey tequila and yeah leave me a comment give me some idea or maybe send me a recipe which you created so i can reshake it on the channel hmm? should we do that if you ever create your own recipe send it over if i have the ingredients i'll make it one to one if not i will make it the closest possible with the ingredients to your cocktail and we're gonna reshake it on the channel all right until then, I love you and I leave you as always. Bye-bye.